Good morning, my baby girl. How are you doing? Do you sleep okay? Oh, <laughs> you're still so tired. Let's get you out of there. Way up north in the state of Alaska lives a man, his wife, and kids. And this dude, he lives like hella because that's the way he is. What's up guys? It's a beautiful day here in Eagle River, Alaska. She's waking up from her second nap right now and you have been napping weird. She only napped for like an hour. This morning she woke up at like, oh, it's like five in the morning, which is actually really nice. Technically four o'clock in the morning since there's time train change and, and, and it's like time doesn't matter right now. But she didn't go back to sleep until, what was it like eight or nine? Nine. Yeah, something crazy like yeah. that. <laughs> and the only way that we could get her to sleep is if I read to her. I had to read three books to her. I mean, I love it, but like, she fell asleep on me, and so I ended up just like sleeping in the chair with her, in her room, because she wouldn't sleep anywhere else, huh? Uh-uh. What, what, what's, what, what's in my mouth? Bah. 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 But yeah, look at that beautiful day we have. Oh, I have been loving the days. I think something I'd really like to do today is finish this maze. Like, I mean, it's, it's already a really cool looking maze, but the problem is it's getting warm, so this maze is gonna go away. So I wanna try to like make it really, really complicated and then maybe put the cats out there and see what happens. What do you think, Penny? You wanna get her a shot later? Maybe? Pucky? I would actually be curious to see Penny do it again because it's been a while. Mm -hmm. So will she remember like how to get to the end and come back? But if I make it more complicated then... Oh, you're gonna add to it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Put some twists. By the way, can we talk about how adorable this little outfit is? Oh. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> it's like, it's just so colorful. I don't know if I've seen that on you. It looks really good. Oh, Pocky, you too. You look great. Fantastic as always. Look at this. Just so much middle part. So much to love. Oh, by the way, good news. I got my VR videos up and you guys, you have to check them out. It's my favorite game for the HTC Vive. Even if like you haven't played VR or you've never seen VR videos and or, or if you're not really into VR stuff, just watch it. It's really cool. It's fascinating. Uh, there are some games or actually uh, experiences within this game that it's it's just relaxing. Sometimes I play just to relax. There's this this one uh, game called Solar System. And again, it's not a game, it's, it's an experience where you can just interact with the solar system. You can grab Jupiter and look at it. You can throw it at the sun. You can, you, you, ridiculous stuff. Anyway, links down below in the video description. You have to check it out. I'm so frustrated right now. I'm wearing this like spring dress because I'm ready for it to be spring. <laughs> I love the winter, I love the snow, but I'm just, I'm ready for the sun. But since it is still winter, I have to wear these tights, which means my dress gets all like bunched up and it won't stay dress-like. I think you still look good. Thanks. Yeah, you so have to think that though, you're married to me. No, it's, well, I don't have to think at all, I just know. It's, it's, <laughs> I love your socks. <laughs> they're comfy and they're warm. You, you should just go like, see how long you can go without matching socks. Without matching? Uh-huh. Ooh, that would be, actually that wouldn't be too difficult. The <laughs> no. problem is coordinating the different socks. No. I, I'm going without white socks. 2017 is the year of fun socks. Yeah, there you go. So just, just double it up. Ha! Problem solved. Now I really do just have like a really long shirt on. I took my dress and like folded it under and since my leggings are so sticky anyway, it's just holding it there and it's perfect. Kind of, I look a little less like I want it to be spring. Okay, we are trying to eat our baby mum mum and not give it to Penny. You got really smart by sitting on the couch like far away from the Penny. Exactly, because, <laughs> yeah, this is, <laughs> this is a common thing. But see, these, these, these banana baby mum mums, they are nothing compared to daddy's bananas. I really need to like show that by the way, like yeah. every time I eat the banana, I'm not thinking about the camera, I'm just thinking about how fun it is to share my banana with her and like how I eat it. Actually, we should we should get a banana today. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. I just like I eat the banana like half of it, and then I give the other half to her, and then should we eat it together? We just go. Mm -hmm. mm, it's so fun. <laughs> I think today is definitely Daddy Day. 
it is for sure daddy day. Earlier when she couldn't sleep, Corey's like, will you go in and like feed her maybe? So I went in, got her, fed her. Usually that knocks her right out, but nope, it wasn't until daddy came in to read to her that she decided she could nap. It's okay, I wanted to nap so bad. You did, yeah. <laughs> I was so tired. Cause I wake up like super early and last night I went and hung out with a, one of my new friends and and I was at his house for like kind of a long time last night. And I was like, dude, I'm it's so past my bedtime. I feel like an old man mm -hmm. because I go to bed so early now and I wake up so. Yeah, you're turning us into old people. With kids, it's like you're rediscovering everything about life that like, you know, you, you kind of overpass, you overlook as you get older. Then we got kids, you're like, oh, that is actually kind of cool. And then you start playing with it. Mm -hmm. I remember even when I was out in Belize, there was something that I was playing with. There was this stick, and I ever, actually I never told you about this. Mm -mm. I'll tell you about it. There was this stick that I had and it was my toy <laughs> that I used every night. And it, it looked like one of Chell's toys, mm -hmm. like the monkey toy that she has. And it was just like the end of it looked like some sort of like orangutan. And I used to like dance around with it. Do, 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 do. I wish I would have taken it with me, but I yeah. think it, it, it just got lost in the dirt. But I had it under my bed every night and I'd pick it up and I'd play and it was like, I always thought of Chell when That's I played with cute. it. But yeah. See, you were out there with daddy even when he was far away in the jungle. Gosh, little things like that, man. That's, this is, this, I'm glad we have vlogging because I would have forgotten about that. Mm hmm Dropped a piece, huh? Oh, you're just tempting the poor dog. <laughs> <laughs> I love when babies get something stuck to their heads and they're just like, ah, <laughs> trying to get it off. All right, I think we're done. Yeah. Yep, and this this has got like hair on it. <laughs> Guess we don't need this anymore. <gasps> oh, oh, yes. <laughs> she almost got it. <laughs> she almost did. All right, time to work on this thing. I'm super curious to see what he does with this maze. My mom, when she was here, had the idea to just have the maze exit here. So you'd put the animals in here and they would have to find their way all the way around to the exit, which I think is a really good idea. Corey has talked about just taking the cats and putting them at the end of the maze and letting them find their way back home. I'm not sure if we'll do that with the cats because in my mind, like that would freak them out and they would just try and jump over and get buried in snow, which would actually be kind of funny. So maybe we will do it with the cats. <laughs> Corey, you guys know, like he loves those cats so much. So if he does put them at the end and makes them find their way home, then you know he's gonna be like right there, right in front of them, like the whole way, just in case. One day, Chell, I hope we have enough snow to make you a snow maze. When you're a little older and you can walk. Chell, what do you do? She's like a little drunk person. You have no idea how hard we tried not to put snow in the middle. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you take it all the way out? Yeah. Oh, that's easy. And once I get there, at least I can transport it. Yeah. Good place to start, though. I want to try to get it so it swirls around here and goes straight. Ah. So this I can pull from right here. Penny has entered the maze. She's cheating. She's learning it before it's time. She probably remembers that there's treats at the end and wants to see if they're still there. Oh, bless you. Oh, he's making another little cut off there, right by like the entrance or exit, depending on how you look at it. So apparently what he is doing is trying to confuse Penny. You know those commercials where the lady like is in a big open lake or something and she gets the shampoo in her hair and she puts her head in and just like swings all her hair back and the water just goes flying and it's supposed to make you want to buy the pretty shampoo. This is our version of that. What does that make you want to buy? <laughs> Chill, no! No, don't. I turned my back for one second! One second! Look at her, she's just like racing over here. She's really smart because she goes not in a straight line. She tries to trick me and makes me think she's going for something else and then no, she veers off quickly, picks up speed. No, ma'am. Chell, no. No. Chell, no. 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 Dude, <laughs> this, this is a good name. It's finished? Yeah, it's finished. This is a... Uh... Ridiculous. I even put a little uh, loop in there to kind of confuse mm. the animals. So I think what we're gonna do 
we'll put Penny through first, see how she does. Okay. And then, um, all right, just make a mean kitty video and see which cat gets out of it faster. No, that's a good idea. Or which gives up, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Corey is getting the quadcopter up in the air. It's been a long time since he's flown this thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have that hover over the maze so we can see how the animals do. It's so nice having him back so we can use all these different cameras. The quadcopter, there's like a secret trick to how you have to do the thingies to turn it on. And I don't know what it is. It took him a little while to remember. So now that he's here, we're gonna make some cool maze videos. <laughs> Cheat a little bit, but you still made it, so that's smart. Corey's decided he wants a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. One problem, we have no peanut butter in our house. So Corey, being the problem solver he is, has devised a way to make peanut butter. Have you ever made peanut butter before, sir? I have not, ma'am, but I will, I will do my best to try. It's not very buttery. It's, no, it's very crumbly. Yeah, it's crumbly. I mean, I figure, I want to make a peanut butter jelly sandwich, and if I just mix this in with the jelly, it'll hold the peanuts together, therefore giving the taste of a peanut butter jelly without the butterish part. Not a bad plan. And I saw you pulled out some ice cream. I, yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's not enough ice cream for the two of us, but, but since he's having a PB&J, I am gonna use some of his peanuts and put it on some ice cream. Oh yeah. There you go. Get some of that on there. You guys didn't want to do the maze, huh? <laughs> yeah. If for those of you who are new, this is our favorite part of the day. We're ending it with our favorite parts of the day. Yeah, it's. I just have such a hard time picking a favorite. We need a new word besides like favorite. <laughs> All right, I'll just, I'll tell mine since she can't figure it out. Mine was watching you make peanut butter. <laughs> My favorite part of today was sleeping with Chell in the chair after oh, reading her man. three stories. It was just so, it was so just, yeah. it was one of those moments. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. We will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Saying goodbye to sunshine, saying goodbye to warm Heading to Alaska where ice will be the norm So much to see, so much to do And the best part is we're sharing